All right, welcome back for the third tutorial on setting up websites with um, 714 Consulting or with a HostGator or GoDaddy account. So now we're going back into the WHM panel, which is standard for HostGator, and we're going to go in and go to the account we just set up. So I'm going to go to List Accounts. I'm still in the admin view. So I'm in List Accounts. I'm setting this up for my client. And now I'm going to their area here and clicking their cPanel login. So now I clicked in their cPanel login, and I get all of their control area. So here it is. I get to go in and they are set up, and this is all of their stuff. This is where we're going to do the rest of our work. So a couple things here. I'm coming into here now to do all changes on the domain. So from this point on, anything that needs to be changed for an email account, for FTP, for anything that's on that domain, or at the website level, it's done in here. It's done in the cPanel. We don't log into the domain account for anything else, the registrar, any longer. So we're not logging into GoDaddy's registrar. We're not logging into domainnames.com or whatever your registrar is. We're logging into where the domain is pointed to because this domain is using these name servers. So email setup and everything else, if you're setting up Microsoft Office 365 or anything else, has to be done in here now because that domain is looking here for all of its information. So we're not setting up Office 365 on this video. I'll do that on a separate tutorial later. What I am doing for this tutorial is I'm setting up um, the website. So I'm going to go in here. They want a WordPress website. So I'm going to set up the first part of the WordPress website. Then I'm going to go back in, log into WordPress, and I'll show you all my tricks there because in the WordPress setup, I've got so many more tricks because I've been working on WordPress since its beginning. I've been on since the first version of WordPress. So now we're down in here. Um, we're going to want to set up that software. And so let me look. Let's see. There's files, databases, domains. So if you want to add on domains or do anything, it's here. You want to add subdomains, it's here. Subdomain would be like doc.beautifulworld.biz. So that information that goes before the domain. So anything that's like www.beautifulworld, that's a subdomain. www is a subdomain. doc.beautifulworld, the doc dot is a subdomain. So you would do that here. Um, anything you want to change on the email setup, you would do here under MX Entries. Some of the stuff you'll have to do in DNS settings because you need to change C names and whatnot, A names, C names, whatever, records. Um, even some text records need to be put in for security. They're here. But MX entries that do the relay of the email, it's here. So those two are here. That's email. So that's for both of these would be used in Office 365 setup. Moving on down. Metrics. We don't need those right now. Security. I don't want that right now, though it is great later. Software. This is where I'm going to be setting up our website. So you see all these different things. Don't get caught up in it. Just go to quick install right here. And in quick install, come to this part right here. Okay. So now we're in quick install. I'm not looking for themes and stuff. I'm looking for WordPress itself. Here's the great thing. You can look right here and see WordPress is a popular install. Or you can just put WordPress in here. And it should bring up WordPress, and it says, were you looking to install WordPress? Yes, install WordPress. So I'm going to click that, and here again, you can do let people do stuff for you. I don't suggest it because we do this ourselves. So we're going to install WordPress. It's a free option. Where do you want to put it? And this is the thing. If you wanted to have another website on here, more info, you need to put something here and then have this go down. You can have multiple WordPress sites on this. But if you wanted to be down in what they call the root area of the website, meaning that someone put beautifulworld.biz into their browser and they click enter, it would take them to this website. You don't put anything in here to do that. You only put something in here if you want it to be in a different area such as blog or something like that. So that would mean someone would have to type in beautifulworld.biz forward slash blog and they would get your website. You have a different website for your website. 
I don't suggest putting anything in here unless you want to on purpose. Just leave it empty and then put in the rest of the information here. Admin email, I'm gonna put it's me for now. I will change it later. But that's just for your sake because we don't give away our client information. Blog title is gonna be beautiful world. And then admin user is going to be, um, we're just gonna create one for now. I'll call it admin. I will change that later. I'll show you about that later because you can't leave this standard. And again, I'm not leaving any of this the way it is because any of the passwords and stuff you see on here, I'm not using over because I don't want somebody to hack me. We have to change this. Admin is too easy. We're not gonna leave it at that. Just that's to set this up for this video so you see that. Now we're gonna, we got all this information here. We're gonna click install WordPress. Right now, install WordPress is going on. This says find a theme. Don't find a theme because you're paying 39 bucks for it. You can get them free. Click, no thanks, I'm a web designer. Even if you're not, because you don't wanna pay $39, you can get them for free. So click that, that's just to scare you. And then it says, your install is complete. Click here to view your credentials and notifications. And here it is. It gave me my all my info here. I'm gonna copy paste this. As you see, it gives me a password to log into for now. I am not going to use that. I'm telling you, I'm not gonna use it. Um, it's gonna be changed, so it will not be this very shortly. No one can hack it, but this is what it is right now. I'm taking a screenshot so that I've got it. I'm copying and pasting it for now, and then I'm going to show you where I change it later as we log in. And right now, that is it. We have now set up WordPress on the domain. That's the end of this tutorial. The next tutorial will be logging into WordPress and setting up the basic setup and installing um, the basic install and theme. From there, I'll go through each part of WordPress setting it up for you. I'll show you all the plugins I like using. I will show you all the ways I set them up. I will show you security and I'll show you so much more. So tune in for the next tutorials. There's much more to learn and I appreciate you tuning in for this one. Enjoy.